It's that it's that obvious question. I've got to start with it. If you were still editing the Sun, who would you plump for? Who would your leader column endorse? Uh, I uh, personally, I would go for the, these things are decided not not by editors. Uh, oh, are they, they were. The, well, I tell you what, I, I, you have to take the responsibility for it. But actually, Murdoch would say, "I've made Mr. up, Mr. Mr. Murdoch, Mr. To Murdoch, to you, I've made up my mind. <laughs> we're going for Rishi." And um, and uh, you can say, uh, yes, good idea, sir. Even if you thought, actually, uh, that uh, that uh, he was the worst thing uh, or, or was the least impressive of the two. Uh, personally, I would go for, for Rishi, but that's because he can understand a balance sheet. And one of our issues for our country is that we are skint with a capital S. And every two minutes, somebody has their hand out. So now... We've got uh, uh, Martin Lewis, or Lord Lewis, as, he's, as he will shortly become, um, telling us that something must be done. And I'm sure something must be done. But the idea that something must be done across the whole nation, right, or everybody who pays an, uh, an energy bill is now going to get some kind of handout, is absolutely absurd. We haven't got the money. We are still recovering from the ridiculous idea of furlough, where a friend of mine's partner did nothing for 18 months. And at the end of the 18 months, she had more in her bank account than she did before she started. And she hadn't done anything at all. We're going to go down exactly the same route. I know you feel very strongly, and I have to say I'm minded to agree with you, that we've moved to a situation, we've created a society of Britain, and not just Britain, where... The state is there to help people if anything in life goes wrong, and that's something relatively new under the sun. Mm. Um, Is it not the case that actually... We're going to be talking to Liz Truss. Alice Stewart's going to be interviewing Liz Truss tonight. Is it not the case that Liz Truss has a better handle on that essential conservative but, prospectus that actually, you know, for instance, she said it only, only recently, you know, why should the state take money from you only then to decide how you get that money back? Why just take and, it out and the money? So, so they, take, they take a pound, a pound off you and give, and give you back 63 pence because by the time the inefficiencies of the system have worked, you are worse off. You are absolutely correct. We should be entitled to have more of the money that we earn. I do not like the idea of politicians of all kinds coming up with ridiculous ideas. Gordon Brown now, right? Lord Brown, you know, whoever he is going to be. Gordon Brown now saying something must be done, something must be done. Right, when he was, when he, when he was in government, when he was Chancellor and Prime Minister, he kiboshed the idea of nuclear energy. Had we, got, had we started nuclear energy literally, what, now, 15 years ago, when he, was, when he was in the Cabinet, we might not have this problem today. So, you know, they're all wise after the event, these guys. They all want our money. I want my money, and then I can decide, well, how much gas or electric can I afford? Yeah. And if I turn it down or whatever, all right, there's going to be people who are really, really poor. Perhaps we should do something for them. Yes, I, I kind of get that. The idea of doing it for everybody, the kind of Martin Lewis approach, which is just keep chucking money at everything, and it's all right for him. He pocketed 80 million quid. It doesn't matter for him. He could have the central heating on all day for a 1,000 <laughs> years and it wouldn't cut into his money. Uh, just-